Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for Scorpio. You can have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Scorpio, happy birthday. I hope you're enjoying your season, and I hope you've had a great birthday. Um, Scorpio, these readings are general, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And the roles, I feel like I have something in my eye. Hold on. And the roles can definitely be reversed. Um, what that means is this could be something you're doing or going on around you. This could be something that your person is doing, going on around them. This could be something that a friend, a family member, coworker, boss, um, neighbor is doing or going on around them this could be something in your immediate environment your neighborhood your town your city your overall community you could also be also be affected uh, be affected by like the weather sometimes that happens all right so let's see um, if you need or want to get a personal reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation my email is in the description box below I do offer $10 off for first time clients who get their first reading with me, so definitely check that out. If there's going to be an extended um, to this reading, that will be below um, in the description box in the comment section below. And um, don't forget on the um, 18th, so November 18th, 2022, it's a Friday, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am doing another freebie Friday for the month of November. So I hope that you join that you're subscribed and I won't be able to get to everybody but I will get to as many as I can I'm not gonna be on there as long as I was last time but I will be on there for a while okay so I hope to see you there all right let's see what's going on for you what's going on for Scorpio please okay okay All right, so the first card out is the spider. Be meticulous and patient. So you need to wait for something. And the next card is the oracle. It says seek wisdom and guidance from elders. You need to wait for guidance from your ancestors here. Okay, and then the mystic circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. Your ancestors are like enhancing your abilities. I don't know how they do that, but maybe they're, it's as you heal maybe. Um you're getting more access to your psychic abilities or magical abilities or whatever you want to call it um and it's it's lineage it's being passed down to you it's like as you release like ancestral trauma um doing healing work shadow work more of these things okay more of these abilities are opening up to you i would say use them wisely what else does Scorpio need to know? Yeah, the moon. You will be guided through darkness, but you need to be patient. Your intuition is also going to be very heightened right now, okay? Um, but you need to be patient for it. You need to, like, slow down and listen. Okay? That's what I'm, that's what I'm hearing. Because you will be guided. Why is the oracle here for Scorpio? This is not going to be a very long one. Yeah, the Sphinx. Choose your words carefully. Your ancestors want you. Your ancestors, your guys, elders, whomever you speak to. They want you to choose your words very, very carefully. And I'm not saying you don't do this, but, you know, think before you speak. Also, don't speak on everything you know either what I just heard whatever's now the, I'm not gonna say it here but whatever I'm hearing because it'll be different for everybody but um, whomever resonates with this I want you to listen to it but I don't want you to repeat it okay whatever your ancestors your guides your elders whomever is guiding you okay the divine god whomever it is that you believe in but i get more so it's ancestors gifting you or you're opening up more of your gifts here yeah you will see you will receive news from afar the caduceus so 
they don't want you to speak on what you're being told in your dreams in you know psychic intuition insights downloads they don't they, they don't want you to uh, I'm okay give it all away whatever that means for you what is why is the mystic circle here why is the mystic circle here for Scorpio the siren a temptation may lead you astray you may be tempted to use your gifts in a not so favorable way I do not recommend you to do that. The dagger, conflict and danger lie in wait. You may use that to, you may, you may be in an argument with someone or a disagreement or a fight with someone and you may result to using your mystic abilities. Um, I wouldn't do that right out the gate. I mean, I do believe in protecting oneself. I do. Okay. But I wouldn't do anything out of malicious intent. That won't go so well. Okay, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm not saying you would do that. I'm just saying don't do that. <laughs> I don't recommend it, okay? And then you also have air. So seek a union of mind and spirit. You need to be aligned here. Okay, you whatever the then your secrets are safe. So you need to keep whatever you're being told or guided by from your ancestors, spirit, the divine, the universe, nature. I'm also hearing nature is guiding you. At this time nature spirits the like elementals which are very powerful okay so I wouldn't try I would listen I wouldn't you know so your ancestors are very powerful too but I just I would I would listen I wouldn't speak on everything that you know I wouldn't use everything that you know or what you're being gifted okay I would just mums the word on that okay What else? What else, please, for Scorpio? Yeah, Nine of Cups here. You are being gifted wish fulfillment here. But you need to not speak on it because though there's ones who would seek to use it against you. Okay, whatever your wish fulfillment is, there's somebody who wants to take it from you. Okay, King of Swords Reverse, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any sign. And then the Knight of Pentacles here in the upright Taurus energy. Um, this could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Nine of Cups. Um, there's somebody here who wants to either abuse your gifts against you or somebody here wants to use your wishes, uh, wishes against you, okay, and stop your progression in your path so I wouldn't speak on it I wouldn't maybe journal it you know I wouldn't vlog it or anything but you know like journal it keep it to yourself you are releasing again you're like healing all these like traumas these ancestral traumas generational traumas you know you're it feels like you're doing a lot of shadow work which is really really good um, I just again one, I wouldn't be tempted to do anything malicious if someone upsets you. Um, I don't mean like you would just go out of your way to do something malicious. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is don't use your gifts. I mean, I do believe in protecting yourself. Okay? I do. But I also believe that that's the intent to protect yourself, not to harm another in order to protect yourself. Does that make sense? Okay, so you can protect yourself without have without causing harm to another. Like what I mean is like you're not doing anything to um, be malicious towards another person. You're literally trying to protect yourself, and that you do have the right to do. You are dropping burdens here. From you're also dropping people who are very insincere with you, who aren't actually sorry. You're not going to wait on them anymore. Whomever this is, they may come in to offer you something. Um, it's, it'll be hard to turn it down. There, they could, they could, this, if it's romantic, someone's entertaining a third party, but if it's not, this, there will be no reconciliation between you and this person. If it's platonic, there, there, there's not going to be any form of reconciliation with you and this person ever again. If it's platonic, if it's a romantic relationship, this person does want to reconcile. Yeah. The, they want you to drop the burden and communicate with them. But I, I just don't feel like you're going to. 
because this person has already showed you who and what they're actually about and I don't feel like you really want anything to do with that if that makes any sense let me see I can just reach let's see so if it's romantic show me how does um, if it's romantic how does Scorpio's person feel about Scorpio unfinished business we still have things to resolve and discuss this could even be platonic somebody here feels it could be platonic family it could be friends it could be you know this definitely can be something from the past current or you know so I've been told can come you know my readings can be very future predictive um, somebody here whether it's romantic or platonic really does feel like you guys have unfinished business to them it's unfinished for you it's done you see what I'm saying and it says you you still we still have things to resolve and discuss this is what this person wants to say to you but for you it's done you know why because dishonesty by lying I ripped us apart um, this person lied to you and it tore whatever this relationship was apart either lied to you lied about you or both and you just don't get down with that mm -mm. yeah irreplaceable the way you love can never be matched yeah rather it's you know platonic or romantic the way that you love see people get people love to hate scorpios for whatever fucking reason and they love to hate gemini's gemini's and scorpios are the number one and two who get hated on the absolute most um out of all the zodiacs but at the same time we have like scorpios are very i'm not saying gemini's don't but this is your reading right so whomever this person is they're feeling your absence because you really did love them you really did care for them you, you might some of you still might but that doesn't change the fact that this person is dishonest untrustworthy and you just don't fuck with that you really don't you don't have time for it you know this person does feel like you guys have unfinished business but I mean for you it's done that's what it seems like for you it's done you've dropped it a lot of different messages here what is this um tell me more about how this person feels about Scorpio inseparable our love is always there despite the distance yeah this person this person feels like you guys will always be together or always have some type of tie together you might have children with this person or a child with this person you want nothing to do with them gossip yeah see look dishonesty and then we that clarifies with gossip so i clarified dishonesty and it came out with gossip says I'm afraid of what other people will think this person was a liar and this person was a malicious liar and gossiper malicious I'm talking about maliciousness and you don't fuck with that why is your replacement sabotage this person sabotage y'all's connection I messed up the good things in my life sometimes yeah absolutely this person is a self saboteur that's exactly what they are amongst probably not only a liar but a gossip a malicious person yeah that's what they are but right now you're focusing on self-love because you are I'm still trying to heal you're working on healing yourself so you don't ever have to deal with somebody like this again this person really feels like you guys have unfinished business but the way they did you the way they have done you or or is about to do you it'll be the end of it for you there there is no unfinished business it's just done you don't have anything to say to this person you don't want to hear nothing you might hear you might want to hear what they have to say if they do reach out but i honest to god don't feel like you ever want to talk to this individual ever again it's like they're they're the sound of their voice is like nails on a chalkboard like you never want to hear this person again like ever you never want to hear from them again you never want to lay eyes on eyes on them again you literally want nothing to do with this individual period now if you have children with this person that's going to be difficult because you do have to communicate for the child's sake right 
I would suggest email. If you have a child with this person and they are under the age of 18 and you do have whatever custody agreement or whatever and you do have to communicate, I recommend doing that via email if you do not want to speak to this individual. Now, if this is a platonic situation or, you know, even if it is a romantic situation but you don't have kids with them, so romantic or platonic, you do not feel like there's unfinished business. They do. That's their problem. That's their problem to deal with. Right? Oh, well. Escape. I left when things got hard. Maybe that's what this person did. Maybe they left you high and dry here or something. And then self-love. I'm still, yeah, that's, you're healing. You, uh, you're healing. I feel like this person thinks of the things that they would say to you. Like they daydream about the things that they would say to you. But again, I, I just, I don't, I don't see you doing it. Some of you may, and I'm not here to judge you, but some of you might decide to speak with this individual. That's, that's your choice. But for most of you, this person feels like there's unfinished business for you. It's like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. You see this person as like a bad apple, but like more than a bad apple, like a rotten one. You see this person as rotten to the core. That's what spirit is saying. And you don't fuck with that. All right, let's see. What signs you could be dealing with? What signs? Could be a Virgo. A Gemini, a Sagittarius, an Aries, Capricorn, Aquarius, a Cancer, or Pisces. So, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius. Sagittarius, Cancer, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your chart and or in theirs or combination of the two because we do have, you know, everything in our chart. All right, let me get you some scrubble tiles. Let's see. What do we have for Scorpio? So this could be first, middle, last initial, your name, their name. Or it can be words. Let me sort them out real quick. All right, here we go. First letter is T, I, I, O, B, W, G, M, D, and O. Okay. Guidance. All right. No. Mm -mm. Let's have more information. Let's see. Guidance, please, for Scorpio. There's not going to be an extended to this one. It's pretty much straight to the point. Guidance, please. Yep. I'm Valgul Cop. Valgul. Bogle Cop. I think that's how you say it. Bogle, Bagel. Bogle Cop. Boward Bird. It says appearances can be deceptive. Yeah. Appearances can be deceptive, Scorpio. But you know this already. You know this already. All right. Well, Scorpio, that has been your reading. I hope that helps you. Um, if you need a, to get a personal reading with me, my email is in the description box below. And your next three months is also in the description box below and in the comments section below, okay? All right. Well, I love you. And, um, oh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you. Bye.